Mr. Carter, excuse me. Everything okay? We are moving you. Where's Kurt taking? Yeah. Ready to go to the bank? Hands up. Go! Wish me luck, huh? I just fell asleep. Stop being a baby. Plus, I feel like I'm hanging out of this thing. Can someone cover up my crotch, please? He's here. We have a visitor. I don't remember being asked if Dr. Benton could scrub in for this. I'm a friend of the patient. He asked if I would observe. Uh-huh. Put him under. Let's do this. Whoa, whoa. What about the checklist? Excuse me? Safe surgery checklist? I've had 10 cases today, doctor. All the more reason to take the necessary precautions. It'll only take a minute. One minute. John Carter here for a right cadaveric renal allograft. Correct. Does the patient have a known allergy? No. Does anesthesia anticipate a difficult airway? No. Is the risk of bleeding greater than 500 cc's? I sure as hell hope not. Let's go put him under. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody slow down. Now let's just take our time and introduce the woman. What's next? We all hold hands and sing Kumbaya? Sheila Lane, scrub nurse. Paula Cheney, circulating nurse. Kay Schumacher, anesthesiologist. Randall Okerman, chief surgical resident. Ethan Dean, surgical intern. Peter Benton, observing general surgeon. Any concerns from the surgical team? Only that you're wasting my time. Any nursing concerns? We don't have any reperfusion solution. We won't be needing it. I'll have some sent up. Were any antibiotics given in the last 60 minutes? Just starting them now. Ten blade. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you run the antibiotics prior to incision, you cut the risk of infection by half. Dr. Benton? You're a guest here, and I don't like guests. As a friend of the patient, you're welcome to sit, observe, and shut up. Tenth blade. Other TDS for the ureter. Shouldn't it be pinking up by now? What happened to sitting quietly in the corner, Dr. Benton? No, seriously, shouldn't it be? Sometimes it takes a minute. I don't have a parenchymal pulse. Crap. We've got an arterial thrombosis. Reclamp and take down the sutures. Satinsky, please. Where's the clot? Renal artery is obstructing the blood flow. Gonna have to take it out and start all over again. Problem solved. Flush with heparin, saline, and reperfusion solution. Reperfusion solution? Got it. We're all set. Oh, well, it's a good thing we just have some laying around, huh? How long did it take to get the reperfusion solution up from the pharmacy? 15 minutes. What happens if you don't have the reperfusion solution? You made your point, doctor? No, I disagree, doctor. I think that this is an excellent teaching opportunity, though. You'd have had 15 minutes of warm ischemia, the organ would have taken a major blow, and there's a good chance we would have ended up with a non-functioning kidney. Wouldn't you agree, doctor? If we're all done teaching here, perhaps some of you would like to assist me in getting this kidney back into the patient's body. Where do you get a copy of that checklist? Now, people!